uh, 1 Timothy. I'll start there. I'm going to end some other place. But I thank you. Thank you for our guests. Amen. We're going to get right to the point. 2 Timothy. Those of you, this is your first time here. I don't, I don't know how to build it up and then go to a crescendo. I don't know how to do all that. I'm not going to moonwalk, do the splits. Nobody's going to come out the back with a cape. I don't know how to do all that. But I will tell you the truth. That I do know how to do. Amen. I'll tell you the truth. I don't, I don't know how to. Amen. I think we got enough entertainment on TV. 2 Timothy chapter number 3. And we'll be out of here. Look at, start at verse 1. My reader here. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Perilous times shall come in the last days. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to know these are the last days. Everything they were doing in the days of Noah, they're doing right now. Okay? The last days, not just the legislation that was passed in the United States, but all over the world. Okay? Those of us who have been on earth uh, a half a century, 50 plus years, uh, we have seen the world change at a rapid pace. It's moving very swiftly. These are perilous times. I was telling the office, there was a day we could go to the movie theater and not worry about being shot. Right. We used to go to school and not worry about being shot. Go to school, uh, get on a bus, right? Yeah, there were violence. There was violence there. Uh, but not to the extent that these children, to the point that when your child gets off that bus, you ought to thank God. Right. Amen. Uh, we didn't have school shootings and none of this nonsense. Um, once upon a time, believe it or not, uh, if a girl was pregnant, a man without a husband, that was a big deal. Right. I know y'all, uh, you're talking about Throwback Thursday. Right. A man instead of the norm. Now we got folk bragging bragging about another child they can't take care of. Amen. Uh, verse 2. I'm just warming up. Verse 2. For men shall be mothers of their own children. Okay, these are 22 signs of our char uh, characteristics of the last days. So there are 22 of these. We won't do it all 22, but we're going to land on one of them because they're, uh, they're related. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Read. Boasters, proud, blasphemers. Blasphemers. Let's, we'll do a couple of these. Uh, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers. Blasphemers. Uh, I'm not surprised that a uh, 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 meat meal took the ales that he took all week. <laughs> Amen. Uh, matter of fact, we prayed for him to take some ales back in 2012. When he put his mouth in that uh, demonic song, talking about amen, and put his mouth on by being filled with the Holy Ghost. Now, you know what? God is used to heathens. You can talk about Jeeps. You can talk about your drink. You can write all the songs you want about Patron, pajama parties, whatever. But you need to leave the Holy Ghost alone. You need to take God, amen, word, and his word out of your mouth and out of your lyrics. Amen. Amen. So isn't it just like God? To dethrone him in the genre in which he disrespected God. Amen. In one day, amen, he just was uh, crucified uh, by another young man who Satan has offered a kingdom. But the point of it is, 
Amen. I am not surprised. And if you know anything about the wrath of God, which most of y'all don't, he got off easy. Amen. Um, but we don't know what's coming. Amen. Why? Because you don't blaspheme against the Holy Ghost. Amen. If you want to be a heathen and you want longevity, leave God business alone. Amen. All of us, amen, who were former heathens are here because, amen, there's certain things we didn't put our mouth on, am I right? Amen. So that we could get an opportunity to walk with God. Amen. Leave the Holy Ghost alone. Leave speaking in tongues alone. Get your mouth off of God's man, God's woman. Leave all that alone. Whatever you don't understand, you don't understand. Amen. But give yourself right because blaspheming against the Holy Ghost cannot be forgiven. Amen. So much for meek meal. I'd rather be Lisa Mills than meek meal. Amen. Uh, 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 next, next. I'm going to land here in a minute. Uh, blasphemers oh wow we got teenagers here disobedient to parents hmm disobedient to parents okay. some of us are old enough to know that uh, whatever you had ADD, ADHD grandmother straightened it out there was no medication uh, you were diagnosed as nothing but beat down, all right? <laughs> Amen. Back when, you know, when, when parents were parents, when they told you to come in, you came in. Where the only explanation they offered was, just because I said so. Amen. Come on, amen. Thank God for those days. Just because I said so. There was no explanation, huh? They were wise enough that if they spanked you too hard and you were light-skinned, they wouldn't let you go to school that day. Amen. They knew how to keep you in and take you. Amen. Uh, but according to the Bible, being disobedient to a parent is a dangerous thing. Uh, some of you are still suffering for your disobedience to your parent. Even though it was 10, 15, 20 years ago, you paid the price. Uh, now the flip side of that is you cannot beat a respectful obedient child amen oh they are a blessing and parent 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 you're supposed to go overboard for them if you have a child that respects you if you have a child that honors your sacrifice by getting good grades if you have a child that honors your sacrifice huh, by achieving on the highest academic level huh why not Amen. Don't go to Old Navy. Go get them some Ralph Lauren. Are y'all hearing me? Amen. Do something extra for that child. Amen. Who's obedient to you? The one who has initiative. Uh, the one that you only tell uh, to do something one time. Do something for that child. As far as that disobedient child, you're supposed to shut them down before you send them out to society. Uh, you're supposed to do nothing for them at Christmas time. Say, your gift is the, the fact that I let you come down today. Amen. And sit at this table. Are y'all hearing me? Amen. Do not send a disobedient child out into the world without you checking them. Amen. I'd rather check my child than rip and run up and down the Lincoln and putting money on somebody's book. I'd rather check my child than another way to York or Kern. Amen. I'd rather check my child than have breaking news on TV and have to have some yellow tape. I'd rather check my child than have to show up at court on my day when I'm supposed to be at work. Somebody thank God, amen, for a work. I'd rather check my child. You don't make over a disobedient child. You let a disobedient child stay in jail. You know where they are. Uh, I'm warming up. Uh, what's the next one? I think we're going to land on this one. Unthankful. Comma. If you're unthankful, you are unholy. They first cousins. That doesn't my first cousins. If you're unthankful, you're unholy. Okay? If you're unthankful, if somewhere in your mind you feel you deserve to be in a sanctuary, 
if you if you if you're unthankful of the great hand of deliverance the hand of deliverance the hand of God the hand that 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 put you in these seats Man. on this day if you're unthankful if you think you locked in or somebody invited me uh, you're missing amen the great deliverance amen that God wrought in your life with his hand uh, you are unthankful, amen, because you can come to church and all of a sudden have amnesia, amen, and you forget what God did for you, amen. You can have a certain presentation, you can have a certain level of success, you can have a better car without the red light on, you can finally get a full tank of gas, you can finally get a garage to put your car in, you can finally get some furniture you can sit on, you can finally get some shoes that don't cause bunions, amen, and forget, amen, where you came from and who got you there, amen. If you are unthankful to God, amen, if you don't realize that you are mercy's child and that somebody prayed for you and that God, amen, over the period of your life has delivered you over and over and over again. You talking about some back to back, amen. You walked out of a hospital. You walked out of a car accident, amen. You walked away from food. Somebody get if God some glory, amen. If you sense any manner of amen, unthankfulness in your row, wreck your row and give God some glory, amen. Forget about your outfit. Forget about, amen, your perfume, your joy by Jean pursuit, amen, and give God some glory, amen. This is a day to be thankful if it had not been for the Lord. Unthankful. You know your story. You know what God did for you. Some of y'all have walked out of hospital room, did not have insurance, but God, amen, is the one who smiled on you. Some of y'all have walked away from fools that you were sprung on, and God sent you the love of your life. Give God some glory for getting that fool out of your life. Amen. You owe God everything. When you don't think you owe God, you're unthankful. Huh? And the audacity, the gall, to, the nerve to ask God to do something else for you. When you haven't even thanked him for what he's already done. The audacity, the gall, the nerve to have a long list, a laundry list of what God should have did for you. Anybody here know you didn't deserve what God did for you? Yeah. At any time, God could have exercised his sovereign will and snuffed you out, amen. When you cocked your legs outside of covenant, God could have snuffed you out, amen. I said when you cocked your legs out of covenant, God had to turn his head. Oh, God. Because he's such a good God. And he's a merciful God. Amen. He has given you days which turn into weeks, which turn into months, which turn into years. Amen. Huh? And like the other nine lepers, some of y'all have not even turned around and told God, thank you. Amen. You woke up today. Amen. Thinking you was going to do the house of God a favor. You ain't doing God no favor. God did you a favor. Amen. God. Amen. Look beyond all your faults and saw what you needed. God God stretched his hand of mercy on you. God reached way, way down. God found you on the dark side of the street. I said, God opened up doors for you. No man can call. God maneuvered you into a blessing. Somebody, amen, give God some praise. Amen. I'm thankful for your will. If you did it, you ain't thankful. If you stuck up, you ain't thankful. If you think you're better than somebody, you ain't thankful. Because of, of a few labels, 
I know that's the backward and forward. The only label that means something is the one that says you sanctified. Y'all ain't hearing me. I said the, the sanctified label. If you unthankful, you unholy. Period. You need thankful. And every now and then, amen, it dawns on you that you're just a milk carton with an expiration day. Every now and then, it dawns on you. Where did yesterday go? It's not until you see the child you used to babysit. They now driving. Ooh, Lord have mercy, huh? The child used to hold in your arms is crossing the stage getting a diploma. Huh? Who you used to take care of is now a mother and a father and they got to take care of somebody. It's not until the label grandparent gets on you that you realize you in the checkout lane. Are y'all hearing me? Amen. Ah, but by that time, you know, it's late. We need somebody to be thankful for why they're young. Amen. We need somebody. A young. Young in age. Huh? Watch this now. Fresh out of the mental penitentiary. Fresh out of lockup. Oh, y'all ain't hearing me, huh? I said fresh out of the mental penitentiary. When something had your mind. Amen. Fresh out. Huh? I'm talking about a deliverance that God did for you. Amen. A, a financial deliverance. Amen. Well, you can show sure enough get up and say that you know God is a way maker. Well, he's Jehovah Jireh. He is a provider. Amen. Fresh out of the financial penitentiary can finally do some things that you want. I want somebody to give God glory. Somebody say, you just got that bill paid, but you don't know how long that monkey been on my neck. Amen. That monkey been on my back. And if somebody thank God, fresh out of a bad relationship and into a loving one, fresh out, amen, of a mental collapse, amen, when the walls, amen, were shrinking and the bottom fell out, but God sent an angel by, amen, and we went man to it for a night, but joy came and comes in the morning. Somebody thank God, amen, fresh out of a mental collapse. You're thankful. Why? You say, why? Because if I do it when I'm fresh out, amen, and remind myself, huh, then life gets precious to me. Huh? And I'm like, what, what you smiling about? What you so happy about? I mean, you just don't want my, uh, what the lottery you, you, you win the lottery or something? No, I got delivered. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> delivered from a situation. Delivered from a person. Yeah. I say being delivered from people is one of the greatest deliverers. Amen. <laughs> no, 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 no. I want somebody who's been delivered from a person. You hated them. You had hatred. The very thought of them used to ruin your day. Now, 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 I, I know some of y'all, some of y'all ain't been delivered from lying. <laughs> Amen. You ain't, you ain't. Uh, I could bring a name up and, and watch your face get twisted. <laughs> ain't been delivered from lying. Amen. Uh, it, it, as though, <laughs> you don't care about people. Small as Omaha is, somebody know you. Right. Somebody know you. Some of y'all relate to everybody. <laughs> but somebody know you. Somebody saw you hemmed up. Somebody saw you being psychologically pimped out. Mm -hmm. So well, I was never on no block. But on your mind, you were on a block. Okay? Because you could not live the abundant life in Christ Jesus. Uh, somebody saw you hemmed up in that little Mickey Mouse low paying job with no benefits. Somebody remember the cash machine taking your debit card and not giving it back. 
Mm, and some of y'all remember that too. Amen. Hey, come on now. And when you try to act like I try to get the balance, amen, the little sheet of paper came back and said, oh, hell no. We glad we found you. Amen. You're not getting this car back. Somebody said, I don't know who he's talking about. I'm talking about you. Huh? Somebody remember you being in line at high V with $75 of groceries but had $7 on you. Amen. Somebody remember you handing them the check and they put your check through the machine and the machine starts smoking. <laughs> Somebody know you. Somebody got pictures of you before you got your Polynesian wig, before you got your butt implant, before you got your water bra. Somebody remember you. Somebody remember you homely before you had white in your teeth and a mint on your breath. Somebody remember you. Amen. You ought to tell God, thank you. Amen. And hurry up before somebody look down your road and say, you got to be kidding. You better praise God. Oh, you got Somebody remember when you couldn't spell Korean, let's more get your nails done. <coughs> but you unthankful. <laughs> if you unthankful, you unholy. Amen. Amen. Well, then where should I be then, Pastor Bardo? Psalm 1, I'm glad you asked. Psalm 116. I'm almost done. Amen. And you're just be sweating my suit out because you don't love God. <laughs> Hey, my fight is we sweat my suit out. Because you full of yourself. Finally got a full tank of gas. Huh? <laughs> Used to start that little raggedy car up. People thought it was hilltop. <laughs> Vietnam. Every time you start your car, people was ducking. You finally got some good gas, huh? In your car. Huh? It was years before you went to a shell station. <laughs> <laughs> years amen before you went to a shell station Exxon anybody with a brand name <laughs> now you're full of yourself alright let me talk about you about 10 more minutes and I'm out uh, Psalm 116 because this is a day to be thankful amen. amen this is a day to be thankful and you know what tomorrow will be the same type of day amen and the next day and the next day it is time to be thankful for whatever remains in your life today. That's a good thing. It's time to be thankful, huh? For your children. Oh, it was so, it was sad to see Troy's family talking about his sister and his mom and oh, and the and this beautiful little girl, the fiance. Man, somebody be thankful for what they have today. Amen. <laughs> On August the 2nd, with half the year gone, it's no time to be unthankful. Because Madison, here's what people do. Okay? Here's what they do. They lose something, then the very God that they never told thank you, they want to blame him. Why did you take that? Well, why didn't you thank him while you had it? Amen. Huh? Now you may think I'm, there, there, there's nothing wrong. Let me talk to my daughter Lucretia. Because I know how you came here. Amen. And look what God has done for you. Huh? So, 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 so there's nothing wrong with you pulling off the side of the road. Amen. Huh? With the hazard lights on, say, God, I thank you for my health and strength. Amen. If you spent any portion of your life in the hospital for any reason, amen. Anytime you get a long stretch of good health, you ought to give God some praise, amen. Huh? If, if, if you no longer have migraines and, and different things that your insurance never cover, forget Obamacare. What about God's care, amen? When God has cared for you, amen, when you couldn't even afford at any time in your life, you should be able to throw a Holy Ghost block party without inviting anybody, amen. I said any time, just because, God got to have some people who will praise him just because, amen. Because I remember, I have a good memory and I know what you did for me. Cupcake, people took a me. Uh, 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 
Didn't nobody help me. Didn't nobody uh, uh, come by for my party. Didn't nobody. Man, man, y'all yo, solve. Quit, quit drawing on yourself. All those hard tattoos. A little soft. A little softy ice cream. You melting all over the place. All those old rugged cartoons you've been drawing on yourself. If you had it like that, you wouldn't be crying all the time. Huh? Your ink running all over the place, making a mess. Huh? When you know what God has done for you, come on now, you can party by yourself. Huh? Oh, when well, you know what God has done for you, you throw your own birthday party. You mail the invitation to yourself. You invite yourself. You get a cake. You get a little hat, some balloon, throw them up in the air, tweet on your horn, and have a good day. Y'all ain't feeling me. I said, when you know what God has done for you. When you know what God has done for you, throw yourself a surprise birthday party. <laughs> Y'all ain't hearing me. Oh, that's just the way you are. You better believe it. Huh? I've already looked at my ticket to Paris for my birthday. That, I, I ain't talking about Paris, Texas either. That has nothing to do with anyone. Amen. Come on, out, man. ain't no Paris, Texas. Are you kidding? Amen. That's for me. I walk. I go to the same hotel. They even they call me Mr. Barlow Wee, and I won't even correct them. Amen. Cause it sounds good. It shall be Barlow's church. Amen. So over there, I'm Mr. Barlow Wee. You better recognize all y'all hearing me. Amen. I do that for myself. <laughs> I ain't even nobody throw me no party. If I see one of y'all out to take off running like I must be dreaming, amen. I didn't come this far to see people I see every day. Come on now, ain't no Fontenelle Park over here. I'm not trying to see no Aim Street. And what do I do? What do you do on your birthday? I sit in my restaurant and order my original food. And I tell God thank you. For another year of health and strength and sanity and a resilient spirit and joy and laughter oh come on now when you get down to some basic stuff amen i thank god for basic stuff but my point is i'm thankful i don't need you to help me celebrate what god did for me huh i'm gonna mess with get get your clap in early Man. Ain't no such thing as I want to go, but I ain't got enough money. No. No. I'm going. I'll give you a hint. Anything you look at in life long enough, you're going to get, you're going to do. Your brain will find a way to get it done. Huh? That's what I teach here. Man, I was so ha I was happier than a fat kid with cake yesterday. I was so happy. One of my little babies came to me and said, guess what my mama got? What she get? My mama got a Porsche. I said, shut your mouth. Show sure enough went outside this single mother with two kids. I went and bought herself a Porsche Cayenne. Are y'all hearing me? Man, I was so happy. Watch this. Watch this. It wasn't Christmas. It wasn't her birthday. It was her day. Y'all ain't hearing me. Amen. It was her day to celebrate. what I teach over here, amen. Make it your day. You really got to make it your day when people have stepped on you, lied on you, said you weren't going to make it when your boot thing blew up, amen. Come on out when you refuse to be as jump off, but you jumped off and they think they can't make it without you. Hell to the no, amen. You got to make sure you celebrate. Ain't nothing like letting somebody know I made it without you. It was me and God. Some of y'all can't get with that because you're lying. 
You want the person that left you to feel sorry for you. That's why every time you see him, that's why you know you a good, solid, size 16. But you be trying to squeeze into a 12. <laughs> you gonna try to entice somebody to come back and beat you. <laughs> God. You gonna try to entice somebody to come back and give you simplex three after simplex two. Oh, I'm gonna mess with you. This is before offering, so keep your dollar and go on about the business. Uh, you gonna try? You gonna you 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 really want to build a monument, huh? When it was God that delivered you from them in the first place, God wouldn't have did that to you. God wouldn't have impregnated you and left you with those children. God wouldn't have messed over you. Amen. God wouldn't have cheated on you. Come on, somebody know God is a faithful God. Amen. Everything about God is faithful. He has faithfully woken you. Amen. Has woken you every one of those days in your life. He woke you up this morning. He's a faithful God. He has been faithful in your body. Faithful in your mind. Ain't nothing worse than going back to what God delivered you from. Right. Amen. Are you one who God took, delivered you from to feel sorry for you? Yeah. Amen. No, 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 no. You thank God for his deliverance and unlike Lot's wife, you don't look back. I don't know about all that. But he's with my best friend now. She getting the same one minute brother you got. He probably down to 38 seconds now. <laughs> you ought to be glad. 38 seconds. Oops, there he go again. All right. Uh, Psalm 116. <laughs> and verse 12. Mm. Can't learn that in no theological seminary. Okay. Verse 12. Read that. Psalm 160. Here's what you should be doing. What shall I, personal pronoun, what shall I, what shall I what? Read. What shall I render? What shall I render? What are you going to give God for all that mercy. What you gonna give it? Not what they gonna give. What shall I? It has to be personal. If it's personal, you'll stay in the sanctuary. When it becomes they and all that, you out of here, okay? What shall I render unto the Lord? Read. For all. For what? Well, all his what? Benefits. Toward me. What am I going to give him? What does he take? What is it? Ooh, this is good. My, what is he like? Well, what does Romans 12 and 1 say? What is God like? Read Romans 12 and 1. Amen. Yeah. What am I going to give him? Hmm? Read, read it. If you got it, good. good. You got it? I beseech thee. Read. I beseech you, therefore, brethren. I beg you. I'm trying to tell you, brother. Read. By the mercies of God. By the mercies of God. That you present your body. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. We can present your body. Amen. Uh, a dead sacrifice. Huh? Everybody want to be trying to do something for God dead. And, and, and poor little lying preachers, everybody got a homecoming. Ain't that a lie? Yeah, yeah. That kind of guy. That's, a, that's a big, one of the biggest lies told. Yeah. Huh? And you tell somebody that, they're going to tell you, you judge it. Uh -huh. They with somebody else's husband. You judge it. Oh. They with somebody else's wife. You judge it. Yeah. Yeah. They booed up, shacked up for 23 years. Right. You judge it. Oh. Huh? <laughs> 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 she got seven kids by nine different men. <laughs> you judge it. <laughs> Somebody paying for something ain't there. Anyway, but you judge it. <laughs> huh? 
Yeah. <laughs> Everything, any type of moral stand you take nowadays and you, you judge it. And then, and then they get ignorant. Uh, 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 somebody ain't put a foot in church, don't know no word, talking about only God can judge. <laughs> If you want to shut somebody down who just goes to church, tell them, serve God from your waist down and come back to me. Right. Amen. You serve God from your waist down. Amen. You present God a body payment, a body presentation, which means that you are kept by the Holy Ghost no matter what situation, no matter who walked by, who switched by, who twerked by, you still ain't sprung. Why? Because it's the power of God on the inside. It's the Acts 1 and 8 power. Amen. You shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. So you present God your body. Finish reading. 12 and 1. Read. So you present your body as a living sacrifice. Dead. And, and don't be waiting until you get high blood in. The doctor told you got a week to live. Now you want to live holy. What can I do for the Lord? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You got a walker and two mismatched tennis ball. Talking about I'm ready to serve him now. Well, hell. Nothing. Serve him while you're young and fly. Man. Serve him, amen. While you are the picture of hell. Serve him while you have a sound mind, amen. Oh, everybody with a sound mind, give him praise. Serve him, amen. Huh? Save that banging shake for your hub. Save that handsomeness for your wife. Make some beautiful kid. Be fruitful and multiply. Amen. Serve him and then teach your kids how to serve him. Uh, are you hearing me? Amen. And which, but before you get you know, too sprung on that, he got some more to say about that. Your body payment in college. You don't get to take college off. Man, <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> I'll pick it back up once I graduate. Come on now. I tell you what, being unemployed will make you get on your knees and pray for a job. <laughs> Ain't nothing like standing in that unemployment line. Huh? And filling out that form talking about which two places did you go by? Oh, some of y'all like, man, you're having mind fights already. Remember that? <laughs> two places. So you put all the quick trips. <laughs> <laughs> the saddle brook, this one, man, come on now. Uh, uh, ain't nothing like having a degree in the wrong field and, and won't nobody hire you. Come on, man. Come Even on. Burger King told you no. Right. <laughs> Burger King said, we cannot hire you with that chemistry degree. We don't know what you're going to put in those fries. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you know how to humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Uh, and finally, the praise that God should have got out of you as a freckled-faced freshman, he gets out of you at 23 because they hire you, but they do it at $8 an hour. Wow. And now you need the Lord. <laughs> you need the Lord if you make it $8 an hour. Oh, man. And you bring home that tremendous check of $280 every two weeks. <laughs> Man, if that ain't poverty. $280. That's babysitting money. People are like, who you babysit for? $280 every two weeks. And you have a degree. And you owe. You owe $80,000, $90,000. Good gracious to me. Uh, you could have gave God. I'm talk, let me talk to my daughter, Ariel. She can't be mad. But if you give God all that beauty now, you shall be kept by the power of God. Watch this now. And because ain't nobody thumbing over your body, you have the ability to score a 32 on the ACT. You might even max it out. Amen. Then you go to school and you rap. Amen. No matter if it's co-ed. Amen. You walk around like an untouchable because God has set me apart in the sanctuary. And God 
Amen. Recognizing your bodily payment as a young woman. Amen. You step out into an $80,000, 90000 a year job. Amen. Because God remember when you were a freshman and you served him. The only thing you pledged was to walk with him. Somebody put their hand together. Amen. If you don't pledge anything, pledge to walk with him. Amen. The foolishness of thinking God accepts anything but body payments. Hmm. And then the Bible said, I'm almost done. He said, that's your re reasonable service? Like, don't go build on no statues or nothing? Hmm. That's your reasonable service? Re read it, baby, because people don't think that meat greasy. Read it. Holy, acceptable unto God. Holy, acceptable. Amen. We send people here to go to college, not to the 13th grade. Holy, acceptable. You don't get to take time off. Amen. Holy, acceptable. And you ain't around scaring folk. <laughs> Putting a couple of bed sheets together, chanting. Don't be scaring folk. That don't mean you holy. Right. <laughs> that means you have poor taste in clothing. That doesn't mean you holy. You got sit sit there and got knee highs with a struggle knot in the back and, and, and some old thick stockings. That just means you trifling. That don't mean you holy. Big slab of positive grease behind your ear. That don't mean you holy. Huh? Uh, quit scaring people and chanting. Amen. You can be holy by having something that fits your frame. Huh? Covers you up. But you have a quick smile, excellence of character, excellence of presentation, excellence of spirit. People want to be around you because you positive, but you stand for something. There are no blurred lines. When it comes to my subject, I stand for God. <laughs> Amen. Holy and acceptable. Huh? All those scriptures you got all on your car while you cussing folk out. <laughs> All those pictures of Jesus that ain't straight because you're up there busting up walls with the wrong person and the walls is shaking and the picture of Jesus is leaning down looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> All those big 40 pound Bibles sitting in the living room. <laughs> you can cut Thanksgiving dinner with it because ain't nobody opening it so the pages are sharp. If you pick it up now you get a paper burn. Huh? That don't mean you holy. <laughs> but for me in my house, and y'all shacking, got big scripture, and but for me in my house. <laughs> come on, come on, Dad. That's for real. <laughs> come on now, come on now. Oh, all that stuff. Hey, Amen. Ain't bit more Catholic, and you always doing something like this. <laughs> People tickle me. Huh? I remember that old Tyler Perry movie, old whoremongering deacon, just left the bedroom talking about, uh, she come talking about, uh, a deacon, you, you want to bless the men? Look at old Mr. Whoremonger, Heavenly Father. <laughs> <laughs> he going to fool around and lose his mind and say, that was some good booty. Uh, I mean, that was a good. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that some crazy mess? Huh? No! That ain't acceptable to God. Mm. What's acceptable to God is when you're in alignment, when you're in synchronization with his will and his word. Amen. That is acceptable to God. Acceptable to God is when you walk with God when ain't nobody watching you. Amen. When the hand of God and the power of God rests, rule, and abides in your life. That's acceptable. Ah. Because God, God, God has a tremendous reward system. Some of it is mentioned in Revelation. Say to the overcomer, he promised the oh, you eat of the tree of life, you won't be hurt by the second death. Oh, you eat of the hidden manna, oh, I give you a white stone, a stone with your name in it, a name on nobody else. No, it's all kind of blessings, amen, because God has a reward system. Amen. 
so you ain't got to worry about God paying you back for walking with him some of y'all are still reaping the benefits of walking with God anybody remember the day they turned their life around decided to walk with God hasn't God paid you oh yes come on over and I said hasn't God paid you hasn't God rewarded you hasn't God honored your walk with him oh no y'all act like God don't know man I said God has paid you Ain't no way in the world you sitting here and God, amen, has allowed you to outdo him. Whatever you did for him, he did that much more for you, amen. I said, whatever, even your tense is on a dollar. You can't tell me, tithers, amen, that God has not blessed you by you honoring God in your tithe, amen. God has <laughs> rewarded your walk. And if some of y'all realize because these are perilous times, what God has in store for you, yeah. you would get ahead of God and go ahead on and praise him. If you only knew what God had in store for you because you decided to walk with him. Oh, no, you act like you, 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 you ain't. I said if you only knew what God had in store. Huh, let me give you a hint. It has nothing to do with your little nine to five and your every two week paycheck. Amen. God said he's going to bless you out of season. God going to bless you. Amen. Because the seed that you sow, every seed will change a cycle. And God will bless you. God will expedite. What was meant for you in 2018 is coming in August. Amen. Why? Because God said I'm going to show. Amen. That the heathen, the very people that put their mouth on them because of their walk and their stand are going to have to say that God is with what shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefit toward me? Go back to that. I'm out. Go back to that. But we covered that God wants a holy, acceptable payment. He wants you. Mm -hmm. Not the crazy you, the obedient you. Amen. Amen. Hmm? The part of you that won't give up and fall apart. The part of you that will not stagger at the promises of God through unbelief. Huh? The part of you that will go back into your memory bank and say, I know how I got this. It was the hand of God. Amen. The part of you that said, wait a minute now, wait a minute. Huh? The part of you that will rebuke Satan at any given time, at any given moment, at 3 o'clock in the morning. The part of you, amen, that will get up at 3 a.m. and not make a sandwich, but will build an altar and start praising God. That part of you that will hold on to the will of God. That part of you that said, I'll let nothing separate me from the love of God. Amen. Huh? Neither life, nor death, nor angel, nor principality, nor power, that thing, credit, nor thing to God. I ain't letting nothing separate me. I'm glad to be over here. I ain't letting nothing separate me from the love of God. I'm going to hang on to God with all that's within me. I'm not putting no piece of flesh above God. Amen. I'm not. And you mean to tell me with that type of stance in this day and time that God won't reward you? What kind of God you think we serve in? Amen. Huh? With all the fake people out there and God got a real you? Come on. I said with all the fake counterfeit And here you are praising God with a sincere heart from the depths of your soul on the 2nd of August. And you mean to tell me with all the fake people, God won't be real with you. God will keep it straight 100. Amen. And bless you beyond your imagination. I dare you, amen, to praise him right now and see if he don't do something for your soul. He'll lift your mind up. He'll take that doubt and that fear. Amen. I hear you. There's a husband over there praising God. I dare you to give God some praise from the bottom of your feet. Amen. Real praise and a real God will bless you with a real blessing. He said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. He'll come.
come in your seat and visit you. He'll give you a game plan, a strategy, a scheme. He'll open up a door that no man can close. He'll lift the veil off your blessing. He'll bust a padlock. He'll open the vault to your destiny. Amen. I say, yes, God will. Because your praise, your praise is real. Your praise is real. Oh, your praise is real. And you have nothing before him. Because he's a jealous God. Oh, you do roll call. He says, I love my mother, but God, I got you first. I love my father, but it's you first, God. I love my husband, my wife, but it's you first. I love my children, but it's you first, God. I love how you bless me, but it's you first. Thank you for the home, the car, the club, but it's you first, God. Somebody thank God, God, you number one. I woke up with you number one. I'm going to go to bed with you number one. Tomorrow morning, you'll still be number one. Ah. Uh, giving God second hand praise oh here we go somebody that ain't the only one Somebody owes God their sanity. Somebody owes God their present condition. Somebody owes God their deliverance, their healing, their everything. And they're not ashamed. They're not ashamed to let you know that if God didn't do it for them, amen. They're not ashamed. Make no mistake about it. It was the hand of God. Huh? All you got to do is look in that family. You'll say, that's a miracle over there. Amen. How many of y'all know you're a miracle? That's a miracle. It's a miracle for you to think the way you think. <laughs>